He's got all the pace. Surely he can get away from Langley. Of course he can. Look at the pace. Left foot finish. Oh, what a card. Yo, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, it is going to be a special video because we're actually playing some live gameplay on the channel. Very rare that we do live gameplay. I used to do a lot of live reviews. But we are going to be focusing on these Eredivisie players. And I'm going to be taking them into Foot Champions. I've built this new squad. It looks really, really nice. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do, smash the like down below. Subscribe for a lot more FIFA 21 content. And hopefully this video will help you decide whether they are worth grinding towards. I have to be honest, guys. I probably spent under two hours completing these objectives. So many rage quits. I think at times I was getting maybe four wins in under 10 minutes. Obviously, in some games you have to grind out a bit more. I had one game where I was down to 10 men and the score ended 9-7 to me. What the hell was that result? But... These cards actually look really, really nice, and that's why I was so keen to get them. I'm not going to go through the full details. If you want to check out the full details of these cards, obviously you can look in the concepts, or you can take a look on Footbin, etc. But they stand out, and this guy really does stand out because of his pace. Looks a really, really solid card. Defending stats are fantastic, and with a shadow on him, looks as good as a Joe Gomez. Gravenbach, I've used him in midfield. Was going to do a review on just him, but I thought it would be better to test him out in for champions as opposed to objectives. A really, really nice, well-balanced card. 3-star, three 3-star three kind of limits him, but he reminds me of a baby Ruud Hullet, obviously being Dutch. And then Van Bergen. Bit disappointed with this card, only having the 3-star skill moves, but he's high-low, 5-star weak foot. Decent finishing, amazing pace, amazing stamina, agility, balance, all look ridiculous. No traits that really give me any hope for this card that is going to be a world-beater. But I'm hoping that they can all do well. We're going to play a 4 1 2 1 2 like this with these positions here Van Bergen on the right, Bradley Dak, Ravenback in that midfield. Probably not as good as it should be, but Baumgartel at the centre back position pairing Raphael Varan. I mean, he's pairing Raphael Varan. Raphael Varan will do a lot of the work, but I did bring in Dumfries as well. Del Piero, Cristiano Ronaldo. This team looks absolutely stacked. The bench is brilliant. So we've got Marnie, we've got Son. I was going to use Texeri instead of Ronaldo, but what's the point of having Ronaldo sat on the bench doing nothing? As I say, it's my first foot champions match of the weekend. So let's hope we don't lose it live on this video. But yeah, we'll probably play two or three matches in today's video. Test out these cards. Let's hopefully not lose our heads in foot champions. Let's get into it. Alright, let's go boys. We've got decent ping in the first game. Hopefully that can be a good sign of good things to come. First game, he's got Cristiano Ronaldo, Neymar, Mbappe. It's a solid team, guys. It's a solid team. And this makes me question, am I better off playing on old gen than next gen? Will there be less uh, better, less sweaty players? Dumfries, come on. Baumgartel, Baumgartel. Got away with one already, guys. Uh, this game is going to be super sweaty. Cristiano. Del Piero, no. Get that ball back. Spin him. Oh, penalty ref. Surely that's a pen. Ah, uh, what a save to Stegen. My days, what a save. Graven back, get that away. It's got that height. Nice, Baumgartel. Good positioning. That's a ball. That's a ball. Dak. Finish it off. What a lovely move. Oh, and he's done the tackle as well. He's on the way now. Ryan Ken 2.0. Can he get that ball through to Del Piero? It's going to be a hard one. So close, so close. Yes, here we go. Van Bergen away. That touch. What was that touch? Gravenberg. Does he have the pass? Of course he does. It's that agility like. It's quite decent. To Ronaldo, not where I really wanted it to go. Baumgartel reads the play really nice. He's looking at home next to Rafael Varane, I have to be honest. Mm, not good, not good, not good. Varane, just AI block. Oh my days, what's going on? Van the man, let's go, let's go, out wide. He's got all the pace, surely he can get away from Lengley. Of course he can, look at the pace. Left foot finish. Oh, what a card. I think he's absolutely brilliant. Mitchell Van Bergen. He's, he's put Langley on toast. That fake shot just sent him right past him. 
and the next gen graphics. This is where I like them, guys. This is where it looks really good. But yeah, that guy didn't want to see any more of that goal. That was really good. One, two. Finish that. Five star week foot. Guys, no wonder he is the top player that you get from this. You have to win ten. Or you have to win ten matches. I think you, ha you have to complete the fifteen matches to get this card. There's no surprise. He's absolutely cracked. Here he goes again. And here is where I would probably normally do a Lacroquetta. But who needs Lacroquettas when you've got fake shots? My days. I think we we're going to force the rage quit in the first match against Neymar, Mbappe, Cristiano. Goodbye. He was absolutely phenomenal. I was not expecting that. I thought when I put him in the team at first, I thought, you know what, we'll stick him in for the review. See how he goes. If he keeps it up in these next two matches, he isn't going anywhere. Second game, boys. Eto, Mateus, Alessandrini. I think we're going to have to go back to old gen. This is crazy. This is the second game of the weekend league. Let's go, Van Bergen. Have to get used to the four-star skill moves not being there, but with the fake shots. Sorry, with the... Gravenberg. Oh, he scored. <laughs> I'm trying to talk about one play, and we've already scored with the other. Ryan Gravenberg. What a player. I think he could be a future star. He looks top quality. And this card is top quality in-game, guys. What a performance these players are putting out. Brilliant. Good tackle. I like that work rate. Can he get the move going? Gravenberg can find him. Yes, of course he can. Might just go for the chip. Cut inside the left. Finish Del Piero. Finishing not as good as it was in the previous match. But the movement, the run, the pace to get away from the defender. The pass from Gravenberg was phenomenal too. And he gets the tackling against Eto. Strength is phenomenal. He's almost like a mix of Vieira and Rude Hullet in that midfield. He's the box-to-box -box player that you can really rely on. In a two-man formation in midfield, or even a one like I'm using him. Oh, Van... Oh, ho, ho. I think the defender there, the central defender, got really lucky. He did lose his uh, opponent. And that's sort of a sign of him maybe switching off there. Maybe me controlling him, not really... I was switched off. A lovely pass. This should wrap up the game. Ball roll, Cristiano Ronaldo. AI blocks aren't a thing though. Yeah, he's done me. But the defender, the central defender, has got the strength to push off Talisca. One of the most annoying players to play against in the game. Gravenberg is absolutely phenomenal at filling in as almost a centre back. I think he could play really well in that centre back spot. But look at him here. He just drives. He made the tackle. Now he is the one pushing up the field. Find the jammy pass to Ronaldo. He finds it. Mm, what a player. What a player. Sinclair. Finish it. Scott Sinclair. 3-0 up in this match. And is it another rage quit? It is, boys. These teams we're coming up against are very tough. But they're performing absolutely brilliantly. The players from this objective are phenomenal to use. Put it that way. They are phenomenal to use. We're playing really well with them. And I think the... If I was to push onto a level of, say, Gold 1 Elite, you could definitely do it. If you put these players in the right hands, you could probably get top 100. Third game, boys. What are we coming up against? Eric Cantona, Ronaldo, Messi, Alessandrini. These teams are cracked. Centre-back reading the play, and his passing has been, as I said earlier, one of the highlights from the centre-back passing top-notch. Scott Sinclair's through. Ball roll, shoot. I thought he'd missed. The angle, I thought he'd missed Scott Sinclair. Let's go, boys. Guy can go either foot, left foot finesse. Tackle from the centre-back. Get the speed merchant going on the wing. I don't think many players can catch him on this game. Frankie Diong's trying. He's got no chance. Fake shot, cut back. Ronaldo. Ronaldo, how has he got through there? Unlucky not to finish it, actually. All the way across to the winger. Can he cut in on his left? Guys, that five-star weak foot is just a joke. You don't know which way... Well, your opponent doesn't know which way you're going. He holds his position so well, but when you tell him to do something, he lights up. He is absolutely electric. 
Nice. Really, really nice cards, this centre-back. Don't know if he's on the level as Klosterman, but you pair him and Klosterman up, you've got a fantastic uh, centre-back pairing. Here we are, though, with the winger, Cristiano Ronaldo. That double-A pass, that winger is absolutely cracked once again. You don't need to hear it again from me. He's ridiculous. He's got that crazy stamina. He's got the stickiness as well. Just holds onto the ball. Go on. Keep it in. Somehow he's kept it in. Can we get that across? Del Piero, Ronaldo, Finesse. Well, not Finesse. Just finish it off is what I wanted to say. Cristiano Ronaldo. That's a joke. That is a joke. Nice. Centre back. He does have a similar feel to Klosterman. That's a poor pass from him there. Luckily, Varane's there to sweep it up, but Gravenbach gives it away. No, 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 EA, come on. Come on, EA, that rebound. Come on now. 4-1, shouldn't really matter, but I've blown, I've blown leads like this before. Calm under pressure. Our number five, Marnes through. We are going to be a serious problem for this guy with the pace we have on the counter. Mm, we've been split open 4-2. Am I making this a bit exciting? Not intentionally. No, 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 no. I'm feeling the DDA, boys. I'm feeling the DDA. It all started with his first goal, the rebound. Nice tackle against Cantona. It just comes down to how can we defend now? And uh, so far, not very well. Gets the rebound. Offside. And that DDA is apparent. Just like Ajax, this guy, he is. Well, just like Ajax, at Ajax, they can play off pressure so well. Can we just get that across to our star of the episode? Gets it on target. Ronaldo. Is Alisson cracked now or something? Is this something that I didn't know? Boys, GG's. That is 3-0 in for champions. I would do really, really well. I don't know whether I should play another one because I feel like the games are just getting a bit cheesier every time we play it. And I want to keep this episode on a positive note. So I think we will end it off there. Three games with these cards. Obviously a bunch more with Gravenberg. And he was absolutely phenomenal. Again, if I've got any of the pronunciation wrong, I would, I would like to apologise. These cards, though, they were really, really fun to use. The centre-back, I think that he is probably the one way you would look at and you think, you know what, you don't have to have him in your squad. You can go for a Sergio Ramos, link to Varane, you can go with your Joe Gomez. He is probably the one for me where I didn't feel as confident in. The midfielder, absolutely phenomenal. Just take a look at his stats. He is almost in the Rude Hullet Club. The defending, for me, 75 defending, didn't seem to be an issue. He feels really strong, intelligent on the ball. Everything he does when you have it, it's with a purpose. He is really, really clever at just looking after the ball, breaking up the play, setting up the attacks. This guy, though, Van Bergen, let's have a look at his record. Three games, four goals, one assist. I think that when I continue to play for champions, his record will continue to rise. He was brilliant. That 81 finishing, I think with the marksman chemistry style on, it is best suited for him. I would try and get him in your team. If you can't get him in your team, he will be a phenomenal super sub because of that five-star week four. Really does remind me of what Ryan Kemp was like last year. It's a shame he only has the three-star skill moves, but with stepovers being so overpowered this year, you really don't need the four-star skill moves maybe as much as you did last year. But agility, balance, stamina, he can go all game long. And yet, yeah, you saw that some of the shots that he was putting away, the movement that he has, absolutely brilliant so if you can do these objectives guys 100% recommend you doing it if you are doing it I'll just show you quickly if you are still watching this video the squad that I did use I think it's been broken up a lot but what you want to do is get Gelson Martins in with Renato Sanchez they are two players with a low rating that you can use kudos this card he was insane we had Malin up top get Malin in your team I think I just had some random left winger we'd had uh, Dumfries playing center back the other Ajax right back at right back obviously and just your standard sort of defense throughout the team it was nothing too too special guys and those objectives were probably the easiest ones that I have completed all year round so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video if you did smash like down below subscribe for a lot more FIFA 21 content 
I'll see you guys in the next one.